Alright, what's going on all you wonderful people that are still subscribed to this channel? Um, I've been holding this back for a while, but I decided uh, it's finally time to go ahead and do this. As you can probably tell from the uh, box right here, if you can read that. DeepRearCar.com I'm finally going ahead and changing the color on my car. The paint is in horrible condition. Um, and I decided uh, after uh, recently I peeled off a bunch of paint. It's just looking terrible right now. Primer in some places, paint in some places. Um, I ordered some paint. I'm not going to tell you guys the color yet. You're going to wait till the reveal. But it's something uh, I'm going to get a lot of heat for. But uh, but it's never really been done. So this is uh, this is going to be an interesting uh, interesting color. So let's get to the unboxing real quick. Alright, so let's get to uh, opening this first box right here. If you heard that right there, that was a uh, BMW E30. Belongs to my neighbor. Who used to have, if you guys recall, used to have the 06 WRX. He sold that, so I never got the chance to film it on the channel. Here are the four cans of plastic. You will be seeing more of that E30, um, maybe even later on in this video. So, here are the cans. You've got four cans right here of plastic. I didn't get the full Pro Car Kit. If you guys are familiar with Dip Your Car, I didn't get the full Pro Car Kit because my neighbor, the one with the E30, has already done two cars. He's done one of his E30s, he has two. He's done one of them anthracite gray, and he's done one of them, his Subaru. He's done that uh, camel green. Let's close that box back up. Now let's get to this one right here. This has all the uh, accessories that I bought along with it, just to make the job a little easier. Um, and he has a spray gun, so I, I didn't need to buy that, so uh, made this a whole lot cheaper. The color I got was on sale for $40, $38, and that's why I jumped on this color. Now, I, was, I never thought of it before, but I decided whatever for my budget. Um, it was cheap, and it's, uh, it's a great color, somewhat. But I'm not going to tell you guys what it is yet. All right, we got all this uh, stuff right here. Don't think anything is in here. We got the uh, receipt right here. For, uh, for our stuff. We'll leave that inside of there. A lot of the stuff is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Okay, here's a mixer. We're going to, uh, it actually has some plastic dip on it, which is, uh, no, it has some sort of black, black thing on it. You guys can see that right there. I don't know what it is, but this you, uh, stick onto a drill and you mix up your gallons. Fairly simple. Then we have, uh, wow, that's actually massive. Wow, okay. We have, um, this thing they call dip coat. I bought three of these because I intend to have the dip on there for a while and uh, shipping to where I am is $25 every shipment. So if I'm gonna keep waiting to, uh, to keep buying another dip coat every time I run out, then it's just gonna be just a pain in the butt. So I didn't go ahead and get, if you guys can't see me, I'm sorry. Um, I'm at a weird angle here, but bought a couple of microfiber towels. They were a dollar a piece, no big deal. Um, this right here is a dip washer. I will uh, open this in a second, show you guys what it is. Here is a pre-dip spray. By the way, all the nozzles are in here if you guys were wondering. Um, pre-dip spray is a, uh, is basically what it says. It's a pre-dip spray. Before you dip the car, you spray the car down with this, wipe it down, and uh, voila. Close my knife here. Um, stick this back in here. Then we got, of course, three of these. Then we have this thing, which is also much bigger than I expected. Okay, this is what they call the dip guard, all right? It's basically just a gas, uh, a gas guard. You, they, they sell them for normal paint too. This is just sort of an extended version. You kind of put this onto your gas cap, and, uh, and when you open the, you kind of fold it up like this inside the, uh, the gas place, and when you open it, it kind of falls, falls down and protects all the plastic dip on the bottom of the gas gas tank. 
And then we have, I bought a few of these, uh, came with five of these cone filter stuff that, uh, make, that filters out the, uh, filters out the plastic gallons when you're putting them inside the sprayer. Now let's get to this. This is the dip washer. The only way to wash a dip car, I beg to differ, but, uh, whatever. This right here, uh, oh my god, it feels actually, it feels awesome, okay. This is a rubberized microfiber towel, essentially. So what you would get from a normal microfiber is this, without all the microfibers. It's like a foam material that look, oh, I can't really rip it, okay. Um, not going to try too hard to rip it, but uh, a foam rubber towel that you that slides right over the dip surface and gets whatever you want to get off off because if you use a microfiber on plastic dip it uh, can do one of two things or can do two things either leave fibers on the plastic dip or pull off the plastic dip so you really want to be careful with this stuff um, with with the plastic dip I will uh, kind of videotape the process of me doing the car. My neighbor from down the street is going to help me um, kind of work everything out. But uh, until then, I'm going to edit this video and upload it. So that's basically everything. You got four gallons. You got everything you need. Basically, basically what would come in a pro car kit in, in, in slight excess. A um, couple of extra stuff in here. And uh, without the sprayer. So that's $162 I'm not spending. So, overall, I, I guess I'm happy somewhat. Um, it is kind of dirty, this uh, this thing right here. Um, so, I mean, what can I say? This is a couple microfiber towels, exact same type that you basically get from Costco um, for $15 for a pack. I believe this is the same stuff. I have a couple of these. So, uh, we'll stick this in. This is going to be for applying the, uh, the pre-dip when you do that. And then this is the uh, mixer. And that's all in the box, and we're going to go ahead and shut everything. Put it away until next week, or this weekend, where I'm going to be uh, putting all this stuff on. So sneak peek of this color, if you know very much about Plasti Dip, uh, it's one that's super popular on uh, wheels. And if you're familiar with Subarus, this color is super popular on wheels on Subaru. Subarus. So, uh... If you uh, have any knowledge of those two things, then you'll probably be able to guess the color. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like the video. Share the video. Comment down below if you guys can guess the color we're doing for this car. And uh, if you have any other suggestions for future videos. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.